Hello and welcome to Excel-Templates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at Excel-Templates.com where you're sure to learn the latest posts, tips, tricks, and techniques and learn everything about Excel. Okay, uh, one of my popular uh, videos and tutorials is explaining um, to some folks on uh, how Excel treats uh, data sets like you see here, tea and coffee, January, February, and March. Um, when you move the ones with the smaller values like tea to uh, or coffee to a uh, different axes. So if you want to split those up, Excel overlaps it, uh, and I understand why it's doing it. Not everybody likes why it's doing it, but uh, I do definitely understand. Maybe they can add a toggle on that in the future. But I had a recent question from someone say, what if I am trying to do the same thing with a stacked column chart? So in this instance for January, we have coffee and tea, but we have two different regions, north and south. And so uh, let's you probably would set up your data something like this, where you've got January coffee and tea sales for the north region and for the south region. And when you plot this data right here, you get the chart that you see on the left. And there's no real way, um, because of the way Excel is uh, grabbing uh, the different uh, data series, there's no way to really split coffee and tea up in here. So if I try and move something like this to the secondary axis, you can see it's going to move all of south to the secondary axis and won't really fix what I'm trying to do, which is get those really small values on the secondary axis when it's a stacked column chart. So uh, let's uh, go ahead and show you the, the user that helped me with this said uh, that this is the kind of chart that they thought it should represent when it's a stacked column chart. So in this instance, we have um, on the left-hand side, we've got the large values of for coffee and in the green and orange values over correspond with the right axes recently posted a video on how you can group your legend values um, into uh, which ones are left and which ones are right so I'll post a link to that down in the show notes but I'm going to show you how you can set up your data so that you can make the stacked column chart uh, and make uh, a secondary axis with your smaller values on those as well so let's go ahead and take a look at what we have here. So we have our data set up like you might set it up once again. Um, what we want to do is we want to add um, and just massage the data and move it into a, some different series so that we can affect them in Excel. So first thing I'm going to do is I want to insert a column right here, um, right below north and south, and I am going to grab the south and move it over one column. So for this row, we are going to do uh, the value for coffee. And we're also going to do the value for T. Likewise, for the south, we're going to do coffee and T. And I also want to copy over the north label and the south label um, so that I can understand where I'm putting my data. And it'll also make more sense when we make the chart as well. OK, so now the next thing we want to do is we want to move the values that you see in T over to the correct column for north or south, um, now that because they're no longer as a part of the coffee region, we want to put them into north and south. And now we've effectively helped Excel understand how to treat these as two different series. One series for T for the north, one two series for T for the south. And we can group these in a, or put them into a stacked column chart. We'll go ahead and do that right now. So go ahead and highlight your entire data range that you see here. Um, so that's from the top left, incorporating both labels here and incorporating both labels on the left-hand side. And let's go up to your Insert ribbon and do the Column button and do the Stacked Column Chart. And as you can see here, Excel is uh, uh, trying to do what we want, but it, uh, it because I've got other posts on this on why Excel chooses to set up your chart data um, based on how you have your data displayed, but I know that I, it's not what I ultimately wanted. What I ultimately wanted is I want coffee, um, January grouped with coffee and tea, and then the stacked column charts, uh, stacked columns are going to be for the south and the north. So uh, that's how, what we ultimately want. So what we've got here is we've got North Coffee, and we want those to be switched. So anytime I'm going to switch it, I want to select my chart, go up to my Design ribbon, and you've got a button that says Switch Row and Column. And so now we're, uh, we've are we got our data set up more like we want with our month grouping and then our coffee and tea. And uh, so you can see we've got our South Coffee and our North Coffee is here, um, but our T values are just so small that they're not even showing up as um, on the uh, $2 million range because it was like 6,000, 7,000. So they're just not even appearing. They don't show up on the radar. So those are the series that I want to move to the secondary axis. Now, to do that, select your chart, 
select any series within the chart and you can see where you are over on the left hand side of your data I am in the South Coffee data series I'm just gonna do my up arrow and move or down arrow and you can see my uh, chart is now changing which series we are selecting we want to find the T ones and then hit the control and the number one key together on your keyboard and it will bring up your format data series dialog box and we simply just want to move that to the secondary axis now you can see T for the north uh, there's that seven thousand dollar value um, and what I want to do is I just want to go ahead and select my chart again and find that second the south T so you see I've moved my up arrow I now have south T highlighted you can see it's very small it's down here at the bottom if I hit control one to open up my format data series dialog box and add it to the secondary axis and hit close now we've got uh, all of our groupings done that we would need so we've got uh, south T and north T grouped in the T area and we're gonna have those combined over um, uh, over to show on the right hand axis or the secondary axis values um, and our other values for coffee which are rather large will be compared over here once again uh, head over to the show notes and you'll get to you can see um, how I'm able to group my legend so that I can see the left axis and the right axis so users can quickly see oh South T uh, I need to compare that to the right axis so uh, once again this is how you want to go about setting up your data uh, for your charts um, and so just to recap what Excel is doing is if I click on the chart um, oops let's get the other chart that's actually on that data let's move that back into place if I click on the chart you can see we've got one column of data for our uh, south coffee and north coffee um, and so we just need to break up those different coffee values they will get stacked together all of these values will just stay and remain at zero um, so they're not going to show up on there as well and uh, all the t values will be um, what's showing up in these columns as you can see here so hopefully you understand now how to do a secondary access with a stacked column chart uh, once again, you can find this and other great tutorials over at Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. Please head on over there and also consider subscribing to my video channel so you're sure to get the next post delivered directly to your inbox. Thank you.